Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's another pitch meeting here, and this time, in the order of things, where are we, Dan? We're finally back to an Avengers film with Age of Ultron. God, what was his name? James, uh, David Spader? James Spader? I think it's James Spader. James Spader. Good. I always like that guy, so let's go watch it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. So you have a new Avengers script for me? Yes, sir, I do. And this one starts off with the Avengers doing some super awesome... Uh, murders. Oh, it does. Murders. Yeah, it's gonna be like 10 solid minutes of the Avengers murdering and cracking jokes and murdering and cracking jokes. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. And how are the Avengers getting along without Tony? Oh, well, he's right there with them. Didn't any kind of retire at the end of Iron Man 3? Yeah, that's right. So what explanation are we giving for his return? None whatsoever. Huh. So what's the movie about? Well, it's called Age of Ultron. Oh, Age of Ultron? So this takes place over several years? Yeah, no, just a couple of days. Oh, do you know what the word age means? I do not. I do not. It's a tough <laughs> word. Yeah, sounds cool though. Age of Ultron. It does sound cool. So anyway, using Loki's scepter, Iron Man wants to create an AI called Ultron that can achieve peace in our time. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but then Ultron understands his purpose as, oh, I need to murder everyone. Whoopsie. So Ultron attacks <laughs> the Avengers while they're getting drunk and then escapes through the internet. He escapes through the internet. Yeah, so now he has access to every system on Earth except nukes. Oh, that's cool. So what's his plan? Is he gonna, like, take down the electrical grid? Nope. Something with the water supply? Nuh-uh. Air traffic control? Nope. All of the Avengers' super advanced technology? No, those sound like good ideas, but what he really plans on doing is making a city fly and throwing it down to Earth. Oh, you'd think a genius AI would be able to think of a better plan than that. You'd think so, but he's really into the city-throwing idea. Interesting. Okay. So anyway, Ultron is this super scary, super intimidating robot. You should have him crack jokes like Loki. What? People love Loki. Yeah, but why would a robot crack jokes? So he could be more like Loki. Okay, but people love Loki. Oh, is this <laughs> so you can sell Ultron toys to kids? Maybe. We sold a lot of Loki toys. Well, why didn't you say so? The movie's already a big commercial anyway. Ugh, I love you so much. Oh, stop. <laughs> what kind of commercials are we talking? Well, for example, the Hulk listens to music to calm down, right? Okay. On his wireless Beats by Dre headphones. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, awesome. That's a product. Or like Hawkeye and Black Widow drive around, right? Yeah. In a brand new state of the art Audi. That's mm -hmm. amazing. That's a product. We also find yes. out what Iron Man <laughs> likes to wear under his armor. Uh-huh. Any idea what brand he wears under his armor? Mm -hmm. No idea. He wears under armor oh, under God. his armor. <laughs> it just blew my mind. That's a product. And the movie's not just a commercial for products. It's also a commercial for movies. What other movies? Our future movies. How'd you do that? Well, we're introducing this character named Scarlet Witch that gives people visions. Okay. And so she gives Thor a vision that's a setup for Thor 3. Wow. And she gives Tony a vision that's a setup for Avengers 3. I love it. So what else happens in the movie? Well, after the witch gives people a bunch of visions, she makes the Hulk go crazy, and so Tony has to stop him. How does he manage that? He developed this new super powerful Hulkbuster armor, and so they just destroy a bunch of buildings. Oh, Tony has a suit upgrade, huh? I bet that'll come in handy against Ultron. Yeah, no, he's only gonna use it once. Oh, so anyway, then they all go hide out with what Hawkeye's waste, family. Right? What happens there? Well, Natasha and Bruce have a long conversation about how they should have showered together. What? <laughs> yeah, they're in love what? now. Oh, they are. Yeah, I decided that would be a thing. Cute. And then Thor pieces out because he had a bad dream. And then Nick Fury <laughs> secretly hides out in a barn to surprise Tony, even though he meets with everyone minutes later and had no reason to hide. Dramatic entrance, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. And what does Thor go off and do? He goes to take a bath with Eric Selvig. Oh, kinky. No, he jumps into a dream puddle and learns about Infinity Stones. Mm. Oh, is that a commercial for... Commercial for an upcoming movie, that's right. I love it. So anyway, Ultron tries to put himself in a body type thing, but then the Avengers steal it. Oh, they do? Yeah, and then Tony convinces Bruce that they have to do the exact same thing they did with Ultron again. He wants them to redo the thing that created a death robot? That's right. God, is it gonna be hard to convince Bruce to do it? No, super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. Really? Yeah, he basically says that they're both monsters, and for some reason that convinces him. That was easy. Anyway, so they do the <laughs> okay. thing again, but this time Thor hits it with some lightning, and that creates a really nice dude named Vision somehow. It's crazy how science works, isn't it? Yeah, I literally don't understand it. Me neither. <laughs> also, here. Ultron is gonna kidnap Black Widow. He's gonna kidnap her. Why wouldn't he just kill her? I don't know, I guess to lure the Avengers over? Wouldn't they have gone anyway if Ultron is lifting a city into the sky? Yeah, you'd hope so. So how does the movie end? Well, you know how in the first Avengers, 
Avengers, we had them fighting like a generic army of aliens. Yeah. Well, this time we're going to switch things up a bit. Oh, yeah? Now it's going to be a generic army of robots. Very cool. <laughs> also, one of the Avengers is going to die. What? Which one? Quicksilver. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, we only introduce him in this movie. I'm not sure that he's actually an Avenger. I don't think How does he, is. he die? Well, Hawkeye is about to get shot, so Quicksilver uses his super speed to stand in front of the bullets. He has super speed? That's right. Why doesn't he use that to get them out of the way instead of stepping in front of bullets? I don't know. Plus, there's a huge scene earlier <laughs> well, he where he moves a bunch a of people out of the way of a moving train. <laughs> so he dies. Yeah, and also Tony, Thor, and Vision are all hitting Ultron at the same time, and he starts to die. Amazing. And then they all stop and let him get away. Why? I don't know, but Scarlet Witch kills him later. Well, good. And then in a mid credit scene, we're going to have Thanos show up. Oh, what does he do? He puts on the Infinity Gauntlet, and he's like, fine, I'll do it myself. What's he talking about? Getting the Infinity Stones. Was Ultron trying to get him Infinity Stones? Nope. So what's he talking about? Getting the Infinity Stones. But that line doesn't make sense in the context of no, this movie. Doesn't. Yeah, but he wants them. But what's he talking about? Getting the Infinity Stones. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, so Tony retires from being Iron Man again. Oh, but he'll be back, right? No, this time he's retiring for real. He's never putting that suit on again. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. I actually believed him. I didn't. Then you would have been smart. <laughs> You know what, now that I think about it, they did have a lot of issues there with this movie where it's like, they kept trying to introduce things that had absolutely nothing to do with this right. whatsoever. Yeah, because I remember watching and seeing the little the little visions that Scarlet Witch was giving them. I'm like, what does that have to do with this film? Like, why are y'all scared of something that, like, nobody in the audience and even yourselves know what it is? Obviously, just to let you know that there's going to be more... Uh opportunities for you to buy movie tickets which i mean the way this thing was printing money at the time you should have expected that anyways you should have but <laughs> you know there's your reminder that's all <laughs> yeah the idea of creating an ai robot like that was kind of stupid like if you look at the old science fiction it's an old trope that the, the ai end up, ends up going bad eventually especially too being that ultron had access to all this knowledge of the earth and how horrible people are like, you should have known he wasn't going to respond the way you wanted him to. No, it's but I mean, he practically, like, was born self-aware. Yeah. It's a pretty deadly thing to happen. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I even forgot for a while there how that how he came to be, but it's like, he was part of who, uh, I guess, Jarvis was. Or actually, he just took over what Jarvis was. Jarvis was in there trying to just kind of notice him in there. He said, oh boy, <laughs> you know? Jarvis ended up becoming the other one. Um... Yeah, vision. vision. Yeah, but Ultron's consciousness was inside of was inside of the uh, Matrix that Jarvis was in. Right, and immediately thought himself more powerful, and I guess tried to kill Jarvis. Yeah, which didn't fully work, but figured enough out to make itself what it was. Mm -hmm. It was quite psychotic. So, and like I don't see what the point is of why they built Vision in the first place either, because in the end, he's not even the one that stopped Ultron. Like they said, it was Scarlet Witch. So what the heck did you need the other robot for? Because you needed more Avengers. Because <laughs> you needed more Avengers? <laughs> to replace Quicksilver after he was on screen for 10 minutes? Look, man, you need people in capes flying around shooting lasers out of their orifices. Oh, so, God. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you needed there. Well, he does fit that role, I guess. Yeah. I say orifice, I think it was coming out of his chest or something. It is, it's or, his, or his headstone. It's his robotic orifice, okay? Yes. Whatever. <laughs> He's not human. He can have as many orifices as he wants. See, that's the way I see it. Whereas humans, we should have that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can totally imagine somebody in a board meeting like this saying, we sold a lot of Loki toys, and we want a chance to sell a lot of Ultron toys now. Right. And I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they succeeded on that themselves. Maybe. It would have been better if he was a recurring villain. Like, you know, he wasn't just one and done, but... Like, he ended up having to... Getting kicked out of Earth or something. Or he just left Earth and then found Thanos. Yeah, he can't beat the Avengers, so he just leaves on his own and joins up with Thanos. That would have been a heck of a duo. And just creates a whole Ultron army. Yeah. To follow Thanos. Yeah. That would have been a nightmare scenario for the Avengers. Not just the Avengers, the entire, like, universe. Oh, yeah. So, Thanos' army already, but now you have Ultron side by side with him with his damn arm with their armies combined mm -hmm. unstoppable probably yeah yeah you don't have enough avengers for that <laughs> no <laughs> yeah and that's kind of the issue with the movie i think in general is it wasn't the best avengers film because yeah it introduced some more characters but it was very kind of standalone -ish in, the, in the fact that at the end of it ultron is dead and really nothing involving his character matters in the grand scheme of things right this movie did point out a something important though it did point out the idea that it's like man you avengers are running around having your battles in heavily populated areas mm -hmm. and you're destroying infrastructure while you're doing it 
And that becomes a point of issue in some of the later films, too. Yes, like especially Civil War, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like your powers are just on display out there, causing more harm than good. Because between Hulk and Iron Man, you're wrecking the city. Yeah, you guys are doing some serious multi-million dollar damage here. Yes. I know he didn't want to, but that's the way it went. Right. So it's like, you know, maybe you don't need the Hulk for every mission, <laughs> so... Yeah, you probably need something a little more nuanced. Yes, why don't we leave you back in the labs here, <laughs> where you can't do any harm. <laughs> right. Just come up with new equipment for us, we'll do the work. Yeah. Maybe in one of these movies they'll learn their lesson. Or not. Doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> well fam, I think that's going to do it for us. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bells, check us out on those things up there, and like and subscribe again. And leave messages, guys. We miss you. We don't know who's out there anymore. We would appreciate it every now and then, guys. Some of you do, but it's cool. For only one comment a day, you can support this poor YouTuber. Mm. Along with a few dollars. Anyway. <laughs> but as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Later, guys.